So in this video, we are going to be making this version of the 3D carousel and its four products. So it is a proper working product. And as we scroll through, you can see the background changing to the product image. Now we can customize this quite a lot, so it doesn't have to be exactly like in this format. And obviously everything absolutely does work. Before I carry on, I just have to put a disclaimer here. This might not work for all types of websites. Depending on the theme and other plugins and that, this is pushing the envelope of the products widget that comes with WooCommerce, okay? And it really pushes the envelope of that product widget. So there is a chance that it might not work perfectly on your website and you are also limited to how many products here. The max I'd say is maybe six or eight and you are going to have to do a couple of adjustments to the sizing here depending on your use case but on a lot of sites that I tested this it was working fine so your mileage may vary let's start getting into how to do this now for everyone who just wants to get the template there's going to be a link in the description of this video that's going to take you to this page on my website here you can download the zip file for everyone else that wants to try and build this out there's going to be a link to the reference page in the description of this video for you and it's going to take you to this page over here on my website and we are going to go and build this out it's actually pretty easy to build out so here in elemental page builder we're going to do the standard thing as we normally do is we need our containers so we just go get the first container and i'm going to duplicate this so the first one's going to be the actual whole setup here and the second one is going to be the code the second container, I'm going to rename this to the code container. And then the first one is our scene, because that's what we're actually making is a whole scene. Now, the settings of the code container, very simple. Gap zero, padding zero, so there's no space on this page. And in here, we're putting the HTML widget. Now, let's go to the scene container. So the scene container is going to be a full width for this one, because it's going to take up the whole page there and it's going to be 100 percent the height here is vh at 100. now gaps over here is zero and then the additional options overflow here can just be too hidden then we are going to be putting a gradient here depending on the images and how bright they are you might want to change this gradient a bit but it's totally up to you for this example i'm just going to be putting it going darker like this so under the style background overlay gradient first color black second color white then location of the black i'm gonna pump it up to maybe about a 17 percent just to move it down a bit then the angle here is zero opacity is 0 0.95 and then blend mode we're just going to be putting to multiply now under advanced we're going to need the first css class name so here in the reference page we're going to take this first css class name and we are just going to paste it in now in my particular use case i have a spacer here just to move it away from the header um depending on yours you might not have to so over here i'm just going to get the spacer and then i'm going to go get a container so there we are a spacer and container now this container is going to house the actual scene so we're going to rename this to the gallery scene now for the settings of this actual spacer for me personally i'm just going to be putting this at a 70 just to move away from my header a little bit and then the gallery scene container this is going to be full width at 100 percent we can always change these settings after the fact and then we are going to center align this now this needs a css class name so in the reference page grab the second css class name and we put it in now inside this we are going to get the products widget so we click the plus sign type out products it's the standard products one that comes with woocommerce so we're going to take this and we're just going to put it in now for the settings of this the rows and that it depends on how many products you actually have so here i'm not going to be worried about too many rows so i'm just going to be putting it at one and then the columns here i'm just going to be putting as four now do play around with this so that everything is perfectly fine for you and your settings now for the styling of this i'm going to put the align to center then the text title color i'm going to be setting it to black and i'm going to make it uppercase then the price color i'm just going to set some sort of green it doesn't really matter exact 
just something that you're really happy with. Then the sizing, it's up to you as well. Um, I'm gonna keep it as is. Okay, for the button color, for the text, I'm gonna set it to black. The border, I'm gonna set it to black. It's going to be solid at a two pixel with a border radius of 50. Then in hover, I'm going to do the text color as white, the background color, and border color are black. So we got that going on. Now the border type, we just make sure that it is two pixels and the border radius is at 50 for this button. Then automatically align buttons, we're gonna say yes. And then we can stylize the box. So for the border radius, we bring it as a 10. The padding, you de-link it. And I'm gonna put a 10 padding at the bottom just to give a bit of space there. Then the background color here, I'm going to set this to white. So that sort of look there. So this is kind of the thing that I was going for. You don't have to copy this exact. It's just the styling for this example. Then under advanced, we're going to give a CSS class name. So in the reference page, we're going to say that it's this reboot auto gallery. And we just paste that in. Now, underneath this product, we're going to need a button container. So we're going to click the plus sign. We're going to grab a container and we're going to put it in. Now this one, I'm going to rename it to the button container. Now for the settings of this container, I'm just going to make it horizontal and space between. Then under advanced, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna de-link this and then the top, I'm gonna give a negative 15 just to put it up just a little bit. And then inside here, we're gonna get our buttons. So we go plus sign, button, put it in. This button over here, take out the text. I'm gonna change it to an icon. So I'm gonna say arrow. I'm gonna choose this one, say insert. And then under style the topography, I'm going to set to 16. We can change it for mobile view here if we want. So if we go to mobile, we can set this to say a 30. So it's bigger in mobile. Because what's going to happen is this whole carousel is going to scale down. So we have to bump up the size of the actual topography here. So if we go back into desktop, let's go and stylize this app. The text color here, I'm going to put to white. The background, I'm going to make transparent parent border type is solid with a two pixels of border width border color here is white as well border radius we're going to crank it up to 100 then the padding we de-link it and this is 14 and 15 so it's 14 top 15 right 14 bottom 15 left so now we're going to get an id so a proper css id so in the reference page we're going to copy this pre button copy that put it into this id there and now we can duplicate this for the other side so if i say duplicate now this one we change the arrow so we go to the icon we say arrow and we change to the other direction and then this one is going to need an id so we go to the reference page we copy the next button id and we put it in there so definitely not css class it's just the ID. Now we're done 99% of all the actual designing. Now we're just going to start slapping in code. So in the reference page, we're going to copy the CSS for the scene container. We say copy. We go to the scene container and the advanced in custom CSS, we paste that in there. Now we go back to reference page. We scroll down. This is going to be for the gallery. Then we go into our designer. We say gallery scene, advanced, paste it right in there. Then back to reference page. Now we're gonna copy this code over here. And this is gonna go into the products widget under advanced in custom CSS and we paste it. Now, one of the last things we do is here is the JavaScript. So we copy that. And in the HTML widget, we paste this in here. Now we've got this working as a actual carousel. Now, depending on how you want this is how you can adjust it. So let's go see this in the front end. This is pretty much how it's looking. So now if you want to move, so if you want to move these buttons a bit higher, if you go to the button container and advanced, if the margin isn't good enough for you here as pixels, you can change it to percentage and that can give a negative 15 and that should help you as well. So just make sure that it's delinked and that you don't have negatives of everything else. Okay. So this, yeah, so we have it like that. So if you look in the front end, it moves it up into the percentage realm. So that should help you there. Um, the other things is if this is too big and you want this smaller, you do have to do it in a couple of places. So 
in the products under advanced here you can see the width so this width here we can set it to say 200 but you are going to have to change it in other places as well so there's that 200 and then in the html code if we scroll down you will see around about the middle here you'll see the width 300 we can just set that say say 200 and the height here we can set it to 200 as well so we say delete and say 200 so you can adjust these type of settings here in these places so you can adjust it how you want it to look in the front end here so if you don't like it like that you can make it a bit smaller and then the code will still work quite well so here's the bigger one and there's a small one so which is quite cool because here i've only got these four so what i can do is in the products and the content here i can add an extra row so instead of four instead of just one row with four, I've got two rows here of four. So if I preview this, you can see that because we've made it smaller, we can add a whole bunch more products. Now, obviously on my example post of here, I've only got four products. So you've got to see the four recurring here. So this depends on how many you want. So if you've got six products that you want to showcase or eight products, you know, you can play around. There is a lot of space in between these products here. So you can add more so that it can build up on the circle, but don't get carried away with too many, please because then they're going to start overlapping and then you're going to have to make the sizes smaller. So remember on the sizes, it was in the products under the custom CSS, you'd have to make this over here for the product smaller there. And then in the HTML code for the JavaScript, the whole thing here has to be smaller as well. So do play around with these type of styles and then you can get everything right. So then if you want, you can just make the the title and everything a lot smaller just to fit this part over here for your actual use case so those type of options are up to you now just remember again this might not work for all websites now everywhere that i have tested i only had one site that it didn't work and i couldn't find the reason as to why there was just some sort of conflict happening but out of all the other websites that i did try everything was working there so pretty much a good to go but anyways hope you enjoyed this and i'll see you in the next one hope you liked this video if you did smash that like button and if you haven't subscribed consider subscribing as well that stuff makes a big difference to a small channel like mine if you have any suggestions or anything then just put a comment down below let me see what i can do and i'll see you in the next one cheers oh,